my channel if you're new here my name is Maya Neve and if you're not new here then welcome back and as y'all can see by the title we are going to be doing an updated makeup routine okay so it's been a really 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 long time since I've done one of these I think the last time y'all actually saw me do my makeup was probably about like I want to say last year but I kind of have like a totally different routine I use different products like all of that like a lot has changed so I just thought that I should come and update y'all because I know in my TikTok comments I get a lot of stuff like I get a lot of messages like oh you should do a makeup routine makeup routine can we get the makeup tutorial so this is for y'all the ones who be asking and even the ones who didn't ask this is for y'all as well just in case you were wondering or just in case you would in the future wonder but before we get into this video please make sure y'all like comment share and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you can see every single time I upload but let's get started okay y'all so first things first I have to moisturize my face now I still do use the same moisturizer I use this CeraVe moisturizer I also use the cleanser that comes with it and then I still use this I don't know if it'll focus but I still use this serum for my face but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my face now y'all I wonder, should I use like one of those headband things? Cause I do have like the my hair in my face a little bit, but I don't think it'll be like a huge, huge problem. But before you even start doing your makeup, you wanna just make sure like your face is hydrated and moisturized because if not, like your makeup could turn out to be like dry or like just really cakey and you don't want that at all i just realized i forgot to put the serum on my face but that's okay because the moisturizer should be enough now y'all i'm about to go in with my elf primer this is what it looks like and i've been using this for a few months now and it's pretty cool i mean i don't really notice a difference like in the primers because i used the blue version of this before i started using this one i mean it's cool but I don't like just notice a huge huge difference if you know what I mean but I kind of just put the primer all over my face because you want to make sure that you wear primer whenever you have on foundation this is the foundation that I use this is the elf halo glow liquid filter foundation and I had seen like a lot of people wearing this like whenever I seen like makeup tutorials on my tiktok i always seen this so i tried it one day and it's literally so good y'all and i also started to blend out my stuff with brushes instead of a beauty blender like i'll come back and blend it but for like the start i use a brush I just feel like a brush makes everything just glide on so easily. So that's why I like brushes instead of beauty blenders. But then I will come back with the beauty blender and then just like touch everything up. the beauty blender kind of takes away like it absorbs a lot of the product and sometimes like I need all the product I can get you know like I don't need the beauty blender to just take <laughs> all of it so after I'm done with my foundation honestly I do my eyebrows first before I do anything but I honestly forgot so I'm finna do my eyebrows. I don't just do them, do them. I kind of just like slick them up with eyebrow gel, but I'm gonna show y'all in a second. And honestly, I really don't even like the look of like my eyebrows being done because I feel like I already have thick eyebrows and I feel like just sometimes I kind of look stupid because 
I just don't like the way that they look when they're done. I just like to just slick them up and call it a day. So this is what I use for my eyebrows. This is the the brow glue. I think y'all already saw that though, but I just like telling y'all. But this is what I use for my brows. I just slick it up like this with the glue or the gel, whatever you want to call it. And then slick it up, slick it up, slick it up, slick it up. And then I like just bring it back down, like starting from the starting from this side and then on down. Is this hair? Yeah, so slick it up and then bring it down like that. That's personally how I like to do my eyebrows because I like the way that they just lay. But you can do yours any type of way you want. Like some people I know they just like slick it up and like don't do anything with them. But personally, I don't like that look. So that's one brow. Now I'm going to do the other brow. And for some reason, guys, I feel like sometimes one brow comes out looking better than the other one. And that's just like one thing I sincerely hate about the eyebrow glue. Or just like eyebrows in general. Like it's like lashes. Like sometimes one lash will come out looking better than the other one. And it's just like, why? Because you did it the exact same way. Or you thought you did it the exact same way. But I don't know. It's just the thing about makeup, it's a hit and miss. Sometimes you get it to look identical, sometimes you don't. Okay, so done with my brows. Honestly, I'm not really going anywhere, going anywhere, so if one looks different, hey, fix it later. I will fix it later, but I'm done with those for the most part. Now it's time to move on to my concealer. So I use this e.l.f. concealer. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I use this e.l.f. concealer. And it's cool, but... I feel like I got it too light because it's like, okay, y'all, we're going to experiment something today because whenever I do my concealer, it does not look like I put on concealer. So we're going to try to put more than usual and we'll see how that goes. But I put concealer under my eye, on my forehead, and then a little bit like in the corners of my nose. And then I also put contour up here. So I'm going to go get that. This is the contour that I use. Um, it says, I don't even know who this is by. Who is this by? I don't know y'all, but this is the, um, this is how it looks, but I have no clue who it's by. So please don't, don't beat me up please. So I just put some on my head. And honestly, I feel like this may not be the right shade. I feel like I need to go like one more shade darker, but listen, we don't. We don't have time for that today. But I was watching another makeup tutorial and the girl had let her concealer sit for a minute before she blended it. So I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna blend out my contour first and see if that makes it any better. Y'all, I forgot I gotta put concealer in my cheekbones. Well, not my cheekbones, but like right in here. So I'm gonna do that after I finish my bronzer. Not my bronzer, my contour. And, um, you know, don't make fun of me for the face that I'm making right now. I know I probably look like a fish. Don't just... Okay, so done with the contour. I don't know if y'all can tell that I have it on because like I said, I think I need to go up a shade, but I'm done with that. So now I'm gonna blend out my concealer and then also put some like in here. Where is it? Oh, here it is.
I probably look so stupid. If one of y'all turn me into a meme, I promise you, I'm not gonna like you anymore. Cause I notice like every time I do get ready with me's, a lot of my support pages, they'll like take a clip and then make it into something funny, which I love y'all for that. But this is not one of those times, okay? But now I'm just gonna blend out my concealer with a brush and I'm scared cause I don't, can I just go out of focus? I don't know, but I don't like ever normally put this much on. So I'm like really scared. Y'all, do y'all see the un like the brightness of my under eye? I think that's what it was. Because I remember y'all, because I'm going to prom. So I was practicing my prom makeup yesterday. And my mom was like that it doesn't seem like that I do full coverage makeup. And I'm just like, mom, yes I do. But I think I wasn't putting enough. But now I can see like the brightness of it. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing to this other side. I hate about like doing my makeup is it always gets on my nose ring so I always have to wipe it off after it's so annoying I'm trying to avoid it from getting on my nose I'm sorry y'all like if I'm not talking I'm just like really really concentrated y'all i also did not go to school today because i just was not feeling it like i needed a mental health day for real y'all because let me tell y'all school like it's so i don't see how people like just like people who like work like job jobs like y'all are some real um peoples because Y'all be going to school after working like till 10 p.m. And it's just like, that is so crazy to me. Like, I be so tired, y'all. But actually, this concealer thing is looking pretty good. Like, it's looking like, like a full glam type of thing. And I wasn't even going for that, but that's what it's giving. And it's so cute to me, y'all. But I'm just gonna finish like just blending a lot of the stuff out and then I'm gonna probably do the contour to my nose, but I'm gonna fast forward the blending process because I know y'all are tired. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with blending my concealer. I think it looks pretty good, y'all. So now I'm gonna do the contour on my nose. I'm gonna just take a little brush and then like get some of the contour on it. Cause normally like I don't do that. Is this hair? Yeah. Normally, like, I don't do that. I kind of just, like, eh, eh, but I want it to be, like, perfect. But I do pretty much regular contour. I just make two lines on my nose because I don't, like, I still want you to, like, just see the bridge of my nose. You know, like, I still want y'all to 
see it and then I do like one under and then one over and then I take this another brush and then I blend it upwards and I just got a text message hold on oh <laughs> oh my god y'all I just seen a very disturbing message okay like okay I'm gonna give y'all my babies I'm gonna give y'all a lesson Sometimes in life, you have people that are very, very obsessed with you. Wait, what's going on? Hold on. I think I actually got concealer. Dang, I accidentally got concealer on this. Hold on, I'm gonna get a different brush. I'm sorry, y'all. I accidentally used a brush that I used for eyeshadow yesterday and it got all over my nose, so I have to redo my contour. But like I was saying, sometimes in life, you all will have people that are obsessed with you for no reason whatsoever. Like, I just got sent a text message of like a TikTok that my ex made about me. And it's just like, sorry. And it's like, it's not even like a recent ex. So it's just like, why are you still obsessed? You know, like, I thought we ended on good terms. Like, why are we, why are we making TikToks about me right now? You know, like it's it's so weird. But enough about that. I just blend my contour upwards like this, and then I blend it on my nose too. So yeah, I feel like is this looking too contoury? Um, I don't know, guys. We'll we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Probably put some more concealer over here and then some in the middle. Okay, let's blend that out. Where did my beauty blender go? found it, it was on the floor. Yeah, let's just fix this because I don't know what's going on right here. And guys, if you're trying to like learn how to do makeup, don't get discouraged when you make mistakes like me because I make stupid mistakes like this all the time. Like why in the world would I use a brush for my contour that I just used for eyeshadow yesterday? I don't know. You just gotta make sure you have different brushes for different things. You just gotta make sure you clean them honestly. But I'm just blending out my concealer onto my nose. And my nose contour actually looks pretty good. It's actually really, really cute. But, okay, so we're done with that. I think now, all we're missing now is blush, mascara, and... Duh, 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 duh. I don't know, but we'll figure it out as we go along. I Yeah, like, I know y'all are watching this like, I thought you knew your makeup routine. I thought this was your daily, like... <sighs> It is, but sometimes I go out of order, sometimes I do this, sometimes I but just bear with me. Like, Y'all can't see the heart. <laughs> so I like to use this blush. This, I think it's by the same company that I use for my, um, my contour. So I put that on and then I also, y'all, I still, I still have this same blush from the summertime. It's the Super Dewy blush i got this from target but i like to put this on top of this too it isn't like pigmented enough for me so i just do like one little drop on top of my other blush i'm gonna use this one and then i just dang it i keep on forgetting that has concealer on it okay so i just blend it out like that and just pray that it looks right because all you can do is pray when you do makeup. Y'all, this is so freaking pretty. Like, I love this color. I don't like, like, really dark tones on my face. Like, like, like if I do pink blush, I don't want, like, a hot pink. I want, like, a light, subtle type of... But now I'm just going to bake my face with my powder. 
this is the powder i know y'all can't really see it i've had this for a long time this is from maybelline and i had got this i got this before i even like really learned how to do makeup because my mom had bought it for me when i was trying to like learn but this was when i was like in the eighth grade i'm in the 11th now but I, yeah that that's what it looks like i'm sorry guys but i just basically put powder under my eye like this and then i also put it right here and then just put some more right here and then i also put it i basically put it everywhere like i put concealer so then I like in here i feel like that was too much but so i do it like that and then we're just gonna wait for it to kind of set in and then i'm gonna come back to y'all and blend it out y'all i'm so slow i forgot but i be having like smile creases recently so i have to figure out a way to get rid of those i don't know if it's like my base or what but somebody told me to like stretch them out first like that and then like smile with it and put the powder there Okay, I, I can't stop smiling, so I will see y'all when I blend it out. Okay, y'all, so it's been a couple minutes. I'm just gonna blend it all out now with my big brush. Y'all, hold on, because I didn't know that it was going to turn out this good. I think I think what really, like, made it turn out good was because I ended up doing my concealer right, so. I don't know, y'all, but I think this look a little good, so. But now I just have to do some mascara on my under eye and then some highlight, and then we pretty much done, so let's go do it. This is the mascara that I use. You can't really see it because the words faded off, but it's Telescopic by um, L'Oreal Paris. And y'all, I've never had under eye extensions, but I kind of want to try it because when I see girls with it on TikTok, I'd be like, that is so cute on you. But I don't know. I might just stick to my, my um, mascara. Yep, but this is it. I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. So those are the eyes and now we're just going to do my highlighter. So I use a really, really old highlighter, you guys. This is actually my mom's. I don't know how long she had this for, but it still works wonders. So we finna use it. It's like I gotta scrape the brush around there just to get some. But then I just put it on my cheekbones like this. I actually don't know if it's coming out. Let me see, I gotta swish it around in here. There we go. But I put it on my cheekbones. And then on my nose. And then on the bridge of my nose as well. And now I'm going to take a little brush and I'm going to put it in between my eyes. really liking this this is so cute but i'm gonna do my lip combo now so for my lips i use the nyx professional makeup something something but i got it from target so i use this to overline them this is not a part of my hey 
I picked up the wrong thing. And then I used this NYX Butter Gloss and the shade is Butterscotch. And then I also used this NYX Fat Oil Gloss, but I have to concentrate, so shh. And then I kind of pat them a little bit to give like that ombre-ish effect. And then I put on the butterscotch in the middle. Like that. And then after that, I put on the NYX Fat Oil. I don't think I told y'all this shade. The shade is scrolling. Am I saying that right? I don't know. And then if there's like any under, I just kind of scrape it off with my finger. The same with the top too. But y'all, this is how the makeup turned out. It is so cute. I'm going to set it with my setting spray and then we're pretty much done. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to show y'all. This is the setting spray. I'll use like a lot of NYX and e.l.f. products. And then I specifically keep a card over here to kind of make it dry a little faster because I be having times where it'll, like the setting spray will literally drip down my face and that is not what's up. But you guys, this is the finished makeup look. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I really like this. I feel like this looks a lot better than how it normally does. But y'all, this is so, this is so cute. Like I can't believe it turned out this good. But if y'all enjoyed this video, please make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you can see every single time I upload. I want to start getting into making more content like this because I do genuinely love doing my makeup because I think it's just so freaking calming. But like I said, let me know down below if you want me to start doing more stuff like this and I will see y'all in my next upload. Peace out.